Chapter 6 Health 6.1 Health is considered as a complete state of physical, psychological and social well-being of a person and not merely an absence of a disease. It is the primary indicator showing the extent a society is flourishing. Persons with disabilities being one of the most vulnerable groups. Health indicator of PWDs in any society reflects the degree of inclusiveness in the society. 6.2 Evidence suggests that globally the PWDs experience difficulties in accessing healthcare either in general or specialized healthcare as compared to those without disabilities. The underlying impairments of PWDs can create higher healthcare needs. They may need specialized treatment in order to optimize functioning and reduce disabilities, which include medication, surgery, assistive devices, and therapeutic rehabilitation. 6.3 Another key concern is that PWDs often incur greater cost when seeking health care, which may drive them further into poverty. Children with disabilities having congenital disabilities experience multiple health conditions requiring help from a broad range of medical and rehabilitative experts besides the need for immunization and other routine medical care. Six point four Cost of transportation, inaccessible physical building, poor fitting of hospital equipment, discrimination and stigma from hospital staff. can often be attributed as significant barriers for PWDs in accessing health care services. 6.5 There are also concerns about the quality of health care services for PWDs due to lack of skill and knowledge of health professionals or absence of accessible equipment which are key to disability specific needs. Thus, there is a need to have greater focus on PWDs to achieving universal health coverage, which aims at ensuring access to health services for the whole population, including all the services that each segment of the society needs. That is, preventive, curative, rehabilitative, promotive, and palliative care without incurring financial hardship. 6.6 Article 25 of the UNCRPD mandates the signatory parties to take measures to promote health of PWDs in order to Provide same, same range, quality and standard of free or affordable health care to PWDs as provided to others including the area of sexual and reproductive health care. Provide specific health services needed by PWDs owing to their disabilities. Provide health services at community level.
6.7 The Incheon Strategy for Asia-Pacific Decade for the PWDs focuses on increased access to all healthcare services, including rehabilitation for all PWDs, personal assistance and peer counseling for those with multiple extensive and diverse disabilities to enable them to live independently in the community. Six point eight. In recent years, WHO has provided a lot of push to improve life of PWDs after publishing the first global report in 2011, which has brought paradigm shift in dealing with PWDs, that is, from a medical or charity-based approach to one based on human rights and equal dignity with others. 6.9 Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, being the nodal ministry on the health issues, implements Mission Mode Project for Universal Health Coverage, which is inclusive of PWDs. This inter alia includes National Health Mission, National Mental Health Program, etc. However, the coverage of PWDs under the program has not been optimized. 6.10 The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 mandates the government to ensure that the lower income group of persons with disabilities should have access to free healthcare services near their community, especially in rural areas. It also mandates priority in attending to PWDs for their treatment in healthcare institutions besides mandating accessible healthcare facilities. It also provides for appropriate reproductive healthcare services for PWDs and prohibits any medical procedure on PWDs leading to infertility. It also lays thrust on raising awareness among PWDs and community towards their reproductive rights. 6.11 the National Mental Health Program also faces challenges in implementation. The Mental Health Care Act 2017 provides a monitoring and implementation mechanism through state and national mental health care authorities and state boards. Six point twelve. The government has launched Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana AB PM JAY, which aims to cover five hundred million persons, approximately hundred million families, with an annual insurance coverage of rupees 5 lakh per family. This program is being implemented through a network of hospitals spread across almost every district of the country. As of now, it is available to all citizens who are included under socio-economic caste census. Therefore, universal coverage of all PWDs within the ambit of census seems to be a distant objective. 6.13 With a view to promote health among persons with disability, the policy mandates the following. A targeted mission should be launched to ensure PWDs get health services that are accessible and affordable.
the national health program should include disability as an important component and health infrastructure should be strengthened up, up to phc chc health and wellness centers so as to enable these healthcare institutions at sub district block village level to cater to the health and rehabilitation needs of pwds in the community ministry of health and family welfare needs to sensitize the state and national mental health authorities about the rights of person with mental illness in terms of rpwd 2016 further there should be close coordination between social welfare departments state commissioners for pwds and mental health authorities ayush is gradually emerging as an alternative to modern medicine to bolster and motivate traditional healthcare system available in india ayush research and care activities should be oriented to engage with disability more actively with an attempt to find solutions for disability care and treatment based on traditional indian system of health care mbbs and other medical courses should include a module on disability that can be developed in consultation with rehabilitation professionals and pwds the abpmjay should be aligned with the objective of the rpwd act the program should aim at universal coverage of pwds including provision of therapeutic services for pwds given the objectives of the rpwd act 2016 and the obligations due to signing of uncrpd the national health program should be upscaled to take care of disability specific healthcare needs pwds should be involved at the time of planning and developing healthcare programs for effective outcome disability specific health research should be given adequate focus with an objective of prevention of disability latest technological intervention for the treatment and improved mobility including home based therapeutic solutions there is a need for synergy of research conducted by icmr cisr iits and other institutions all healthcare institutions should be linked to a common database of pwds under udid project and a mechanism needs to be developed for progress of disability specific health status across the country this would help in making appropriate course corrections for implementation of national and state level health program